Hello mga ka-mathmates! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the post notification bell right over there. Welcome to another episode of Challenging, Exciting, Fun, and Interesting Math Lessons. This is Sir Oliver, your cool math teacher for today. Our topic is all about What you will learn today, state and illustrate the different properties of the operations on integers. So this lesson is the continuation of the last video that I have uploaded about the properties of integers. But this time, we will be focusing on the properties of integers for multiplication and division. Now that you have mastered the properties of addition and subtraction on integers, from our last video, let's get going and enjoy as you learn more on integers. There are also properties of multiplication which are of great help in solving problems easier. Again, this topic is very important to master for us to be able to solve such equations. So what are those properties of integers under multiplication and division? So we have the closure property, associative property, Commutative property, identity property, inverse property. So, kung mapapansin, so these properties is similar with addition and subtraction. But, titignan natin ano ba ang ibig sabihin ng mga properties na ito with regard sa multiplication and division. So, yun yung operation na gagamitin. So, let's start with the first property, which is closure property. Definition, closure property under multiplication states that the product of any two integers is also an integer. So, self-explanatory in symbols, if A and B are integers, then A times B is an integer. So, we're in, kapag minultiply mo yung dalawang integers, the product or the result will be an integer also. So, let's have example. 16 times 3 is 48. So, when you multiply the two integers, which are 16 and 3, the result is also an integer, which is 48. So, another example. Negative 10 times 4, the answer is negative 40. So, two integers were multiplied. So, negative and a positive integer, then the result is also an integer. Last example. Two negative integers... We multiply negative 23 times negative 9, the result is 207. That is also an integer. So that is for closure property under multiplication. Take note, division of integers does not follow the closure property. So bakit kaya sa division ay hindi pinafollow ang closure property? So what will happen kapag Nefa, uh, kapag sinunod yung closure property. Symbols, if A and B are integers, then A divides B may or not, may not be an integer. So just like this example, negative 5 divided by negative 10, the result is 5 tenths or 1 half. So we're in the quotient or the answer is not an integer. So that's why hindi finafalo sa division yung closure property because the result will not be, may not be an integer. Katulad sa nangyari dito na dalawang integers pinag-divide but the result is not an integer but a fraction which is 1 half. 2. Associative property Definition Associative property of multiplication states that If three integers are multiplied, it makes no difference whether which two are multiplied first So it is like same with addition So dito naman, kapag nagmultiply daw tayo, it makes no difference whether which two are multiplied first In symbols if A, B, and C are integers, then A times B times C is equal to A times the quantity of B times C. Pwede yung dalawang una munang imumultiply, then pwede yung dalawang dulo. Example, 
2 times 3 times 7. So, minultiply mo na yung 2 times 3, and then the product will be multiplied to 7. So, 6 times 7 is 42. On the other hand, ang minultiply mo na yung first uh, two last digits. So, yung 3 times 7 The answer is 21. Then yung product ay minultiply doon sa unang integer which is 2. The answer is 42. So, it proves the associative property na pwede yung dalawa muna sa unahan or dalawa muna sa ulihan. So, wala sa order yung pagmumultiply. So, same with our second example. Ganun din. Kapag minultiply natin without considering the order kung ano yung mauuna, we will get the same product. So, 192 equals to 192. 3. Commutative property definition. Commutative property of multiplication states that two integers can be multiplied in any order. Again, two integers can be multiplied in any order in symbols. If A and B are integers, then A times B is equal to B times A. So, pwede daw, i-multiply muna yung A sa B or yung B sa A. And then, you will get uh, you will get the same answer or product. Example, 24 times 3 is same with 3 times 24. So, we will be having the same product, which is yung 72. So, same with our example 2. So, negative 4 times 8 is negative 32. Kapag nauna naman yung 8 times negative 4, the result is negative 32. 32. So, yun yung ibig sabihin ng commutative property. So, pwedeng pagbalik na yung dalawang number kapag pinagmultiply, same lang yung magiging uh, product natin. So, I hope na nakukuha nyo or nagigets nyo yung ating naunang mga properties. So, take note, division is not commutative for integers. Why? If A and B are integers, then A divides B is not equal to B divides A. For example, 25 divides 5 is 5. Pero kapag binaliktad natin na 5 divides 25, ang makukuha nating answer is 1 fifth. So therefore, the commutative property, it does not follow yung division. Kasi magkakaroon sila ng magka-quotient. So, sa identity property naman for our fourth property under multiplication and division, identity property of multiplication states that any number multiplied to the identity element 1. Again, sa addition, ang identity element ay 0. Dito naman sa multiplication, ng identity element ay 1. Will remain unchanged. Hindi daw magbabago. 1 is the identity element for multiplication such that if A is an integer, then... A times 1 equals to A. In short, any number multiplied by 1, the answer will be the number. Example, 39 times 1, the answer is 39. Another, 1 times negative 83, the answer is negative 83. So, that is identity property. Again, the identity element is 1 for multiplication. And for the last property, inverse property definition, inverse property of multiplication states that the product of an integer and its multiplicative inverse or the reciprocal is the identity. So what is the identity? That is equal to 1. So in symbols, kaya ano ang ibig sabihin ng inverse property? So if A is an integer, then A times reciprocal ng a ay 1 over a that is equal to 1. And 1 over a times a equals to 1 provided that a should not be equal to 0 because we know that division by 0 is not allowed because that will make our fraction undefined. So, babalik na rin lamang natin. Example, 6 times the reciprocal is 1 over 6 equals 6 over 6 equals 1. Another example, negative 5 reciprocal is negative 1 fifth equals to negative 5 divides negative 5. The quotient is 1. So, yun po yung ibig sabihin ng inverse property. So, it's your time to answer your activity. So, all the properties were discussed already under multiplication and division.
So that's all for our video. I hope that you learned something. In learning mathematics, two important things that you need to remember, focus and practice. See you on my next video. Thanks for watching.